Hello folks, Dave here. I've been away for a long weekend and as part of that I went on one day, which day was it? Friday to Ramsgate and as is my wont doing such jaunts I popped in some local shops record shops, charity shops, looking for soundtracks in a charity shop I found a copy of The Siege by Graham Revell or is it Revel? I'm never sure if anybody can confirm the correct pronunciation to me please do Revel? Revell Revel? Revell that was 20p I've already got a copy but 20p you know give it a good home maybe one of you guys wants it let me know um, but I also went into Ramsgate's local record shop well apparently they've got three but I found one of them which is called Vinyl Head and I picked up three soundtracks there hmm <clears throat> not familiar with this one but Rizal Talani is usually good Buona sera Mrs Campbell from the pictures it looks like a sex comedy who's in it Shelley Winters Phil Silvers Peter Lawford and Terry Savalas. That should be fun. Then I also picked up the Parapluie de Cherbourg. Symphonic suite from the Umbrellas of Cherbourg. Michel Legrand. Along with some piano suite from the Go Between. That also should be good. I've been humming and ahhing about getting something from the Umbrellas of Sherbrooke for a long time so uh, yeah uh, and Lee Holdridge's score for Splash which I have not had before obviously uh, all of those are in decent nick and he charged me 26 pounds for the three and when I came home there's two vinyl sized packages this one says it has come from Woodbridge in Suffolk. Let's see what it is. She's a corrugated card. She's a corrugated card. Goldsmith's Ransom. On dark records whomsoever they may be let's have a look at it that looks pristine marvellous the sleeve's a bit uh, a bit knocked about but the record inside not a mark on it and then this one says it has come from Neath. ordering that Mountbatten the Last Viceroy by John Scott don't remember ordering that but hey The Town by Harry Gregson Williams and David Buckley first pressing limited numbered edition number 51 of 500 on red splatter vinyl apparently let's break the cellophane and see what that looks like take a slice of doom Oh, 
mostly clear vinyl but with splotches of red on it oh, that's interesting it's quite funky isn't it I guess I must have ordered that I don't remember it getting old losing the marbles well there we are that's all from me I'll keep me going a bit longer as well as all the took from the last episode see you next time stay fresh cheese bags <laughs>